Good afternoon. Well, it has finally happened. All Hollywood stars have been mandated to have sex with terminally ill patients. What became known as the Fifergate scandal gave rise to the suggestion of the sex mandates back in April after the creator and CEO of the Humper Star Foundation, Todd Chancer, made his now infamous allegations. 17-year-old Todd claimed he was asymptomatic for stage 12 cancer and had gone into complete remission having slept with Michelle Pfeiffer, a claim which Michelle Pfeiffer strenuously denies. I have with me today the chief medical advisor to the government, Dr. Ivor McTinn. Dr. McTinn, isn't this policy just governmental overreach? Surely Hollywood stars have the right to decide what is put into them and by whom. Well, there are a number of stars who are anti-ejaculations, but they do have the choice. But isn't it true that the stars that refuse these mandates will not be able to work? I'm afraid that's a matter for the studios. We are merely suggesting that Hollywood follows the scientific guidelines. Well, it has been suggested that the spurious claims of a randy 17-year-old is not that scientific. Well, following Todd's claims, there was rigorous animal testing done. Patients slept with famous animals like Lassie, Grumpy Cat and Free Willy. These famous animals were provided by Vega Pharma stables in Italy. But... Isn't making patients sleep with animals bestiality? It was considered to be previously, but we changed the definition, as desperate times require desperate profits. Measures, measures. Isn't it true that the results of these animal testings were to be kept secret for over 70 years? No, not that long. It was calculated in dog years to spare the owners of Lassie any discomfort. So, just over 10 years, really. So, clinical trials have proceeded? They have indeed, with the rigorous scientific protocols, control groups and placebos. What was the nature of the placebo? Well, some patients thought they had slept with placebo Domingo. Indeed. Well, the data shows that patients sleeping with real major Hollywood stars are still terminally ill. Having slept with George Clooney, that would then be followed by a more minor celebrity. I see, like Piers Morgan. Exactly. Although some patients have actually refused Piers Morgan, preferring to die instead. Dr. McTinn, I put it to you that the clinical data proves beyond doubt that this is not working. Well, that is just a conspiracy theory put about by people who are only looking at the facts. Dr. McTinn, thank you. We'll be back later with all the national, irrational and international news. Good day.